At first glance, you might be a little bit confused. This is not a MacBook. It's an iPad running iOS 11, and it is very desktop-like. Henry here has walked through all of the new features of iOS 11, how it's gonna transform your iPad. These are the top five. Let's start with number one. And what's number one on your list? It's the dock. It's right there when you open up your iPad at the start of it. I've been using iOS 11 and beta on our iPad Pro in the office, and it's really useful because when you want to multitask, you just drag an icon up from the dock and let most apps will allow you to split view. So that's a new way to open a couple of apps at once, but can you go even further than that? You can also have three apps open at once because when you already have two open, there's a little black dividing line. Right. And if you drag an icon up, drop it on that line, it exists as a slide over app. So would you say that multitasking and running three apps at once is better on the larger iPad Pro or the 10.5 version? I would say the 12.9 is optimized for three apps at once, especially because the touch target of the wedge at the top of the slide over window mm -hmm. is a little bit on the small side. Mm -hmm. And at least in the public beta, mm -hmm. it's very sensitive about wanting you to grab just the right part. So when you have two applications open, there is a new way to interact with those windows and take items from one to the other. Tell us about drag and drop and how that works. It's different than how you'd use it at home on a Mac. You'll use both hands. Mm -hmm. One hand to select and hold. Right. And then you got your other hand. If you want to add things to what you're going to drag and then drop, you tap around like you're cruising through the matrix or something, <laughs> and you've selected them all in what they call a drag group. Right. And then you move them over. Also, before you move them over, you can also use your second hand to adjust the second half of your screen, selecting a different app or making sure you're moving to the app that you want. When you look at the all of your open apps at once, it kind of reminds you, you know, of like mission control. Uh, and there is a, a Spaces equivalent now in iOS. What's that like? Workspaces, a new feature in iOS 11, really helps you keep apps paired together. This way, you have these finally paired and it shows you in this view of the different groupings. So it's like, okay, you can leave your workspace the way you like and come back to it. I've been complaining about for a long time that iOS has been missing. A true file system, how does it work? It replaces iCloud Drive, and it's not the root-level file manager that Android offers. Right. But a lot of people, myself included, keep their stuff in folders on their home computer or their office computer. And it's a good way to keep organized, but it also helps integrate outside services because iCloud isn't the only cloud-based storage service in the market. Now you, you select Google Drive, Dropbox, and they show up in the upper left corner like their drives attached to your computer. So more PC-like and also just more open in general. Make sure you go to LaptopMag.com to check out all the new features of iOS 11. For Laptop Mag, this is Mark Spoonauer. And Harry T. Casey.